Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Sarah. And this is The Devil's Game. Welcome to The Devil's Game. Where we give you the lowdown on all LTU sports. Let's take a look at the highlights for these past couple of weeks. A lot of firsts for LTU this fall. Women's soccer made it to the first round of the WAC playoffs where they faced number one seed, University of Northwestern Ohio. This is the first time LTU has been able to score a goal against UNOH since 2013. Although our girls put up a fight, the Blue Devils lost 1-3. Here's your captain, Jordan Messing, with some thoughts on this season. Our history with UNOH was not very good. I know last year we lost 6 nothing with, um, twice against them. And then this year we were fortunate enough to at least score against them, uh, but we still did lose 3-1. I'm excited to see what we have in store next year. Uh, I think the outlook's good. Um, the improvement that we've seen against UNO, um, I think we can actually beat them next year if we work on them. Women's Volleyball hosted their first round of playoffs on Wednesday at the Don Riddler Fieldhouse against the UNOH Racers. Unfortunately, the Blue Devils face a tough loss in three straight sets. This marks the first time LTU Volleyball has hosted a playoff round and broke 20 plus wins during a season. We turn over to senior Brianna Ream for some words. Hosting well, was actually really exciting because last year we had the opportunity to host and we didn't make it, so this year we do get to host and it's going to be exciting and fun and intense and hopefully we can Men's soccer has been stunning everyone this season with their amazing record. For more about their legendary season, here is Lexi Ayala. The men's soccer team kicked off playoffs at home for the first time in Lawrence Tech history. Our Blue Devils beat Concordia in the quarterfinals of WAC tournament playoffs with a score of 3-2 Saturday, November 5th to achieve an overall record of 13-4-2. The soccer team shocked everyone with a record-breaking season, going undefeated until the final two games. Individuals on the team worked hard to receive Player of the Week awards as well. Let's hear from Max himself, named second team All-Conference. Getting this Player of the Week was, it was a cool honor. I think that the honor really fell on me, but my defense is more to thank for that, and it's more them than me. Our soccer team built a strong foundation throughout their season with 10 of their players receiving honors. Nico Rodriguez, Alvaro Garcia, Max Jewett, Adrian Milling, Juan Armilo, Mateos Gibiak, Austin Sanders, Pablo Ripodas, Nick Vanderkamp, and leading the way, Santiago Amigo, named first team all-conference and WAC Defensive Player of the Year. Santi Amigo speaks with us about their historical season. We just kind of play every game that it, uh, like it was going to be the last one, and it might be so. That's our idea. We're not focusing on finals or nationals. Well, right now we just want to win the semifinals and that's it. I won the WAC Defensive Player of the Year. Of course, I'm really proud. And this award is not only mine, it's also my teammates. Uh, I'm just the one with the name on the trophy, but that's about it. The Blue Devils take the field at home again this Wednesday, November 8th at 1.30 p.m. against Marygrove in the semifinals of the WAC Tournament Playoffs. See you there. Cottage Inn Pizza on Lasser Road is close to campus and ready to bring hot pizza, wings, breadsticks, subs, salads, calzones, and cold beverages right to your dorm with a fast delivery service. Save your Blue Devil dollars and carry out the Cottage Inn LTU special, a large two-topping pizza and small breadsticks for only $12.99. Cottage Inn is a proud sponsor and the official pizza of Blue Devil Broadcasting. You know what goes good with pizza? Sports. Here are the Blue Devil games coming up this week. Our men's soccer team is advancing to semifinals and taking on Mary Grove on November 8th. Also taking place on Wednesday, our women's basketball team has a game against Great Lakes Christian College at 11 o'clock. Here's Haley Lukowski for her predictions on this upcoming season. Like we beat St. Francis, it was a great feeling of a win because Coming in the season, we were ranked sixth in the WAC polls, and you know we know as a team that we can do better than that. So that game was to prove ourselves to the rest of the conference, even the NAIA, to show you can't mess with us. Like we're gonna be there, we're gonna fight all the way, and we have heart. So you can never push past heart. 
And that's all the LTU athletic news we have for you this week. Stay tuned for all the information on your Blue Devils. And be sure to follow us on social media to stay updated on your LTU news. And I'm Sarah. And I'm Josh. And in the words of Dr. Scott, B-L-U-E, blue, blue, blue. blue.